Dear friends, in our discussion on this important topic of clean rooms, indoor air quality, and filters in HVAC, we would be discussing about filters in this lecture. Filters, as you understand, is mechanical separation of the contaminants. What filters do is that they mechanically remove the contaminants, which we discussed in the earlier lecture. What is a filter? The construction wise, a filter would have some casing, some enclosure in which the filter is assembled. Okay, the casing could be of any material like aluminum, it could be of galvanized steel, it could be of mild steel and stainless steel, so on. Right? It could have then, apart from the casing or frame, it would have some filter, filtering media. This filtering media is the active part of the air filter, which actually performs this important function of filtration. What is filtration? It is trapping and retaining the dust particles. So the filtering media uh, which is used is usually a fibrous mat of non-woven microgas fiber or some other synthetic fibers like polyester or it could be polypropylene, etc. Right, so the other part is the filtering media. And then you would require some support or a pleat for this media. So this is a component of the filter that keeps the media and the media plates in place. Uh, a sealant would also be necessary, which is a bonding between the filtering media and the casing, and then there would be a casket. So these are the important components of a filter. Now we need to look at how the filters are classified. So I would be discussing today some uh, filter types based on how they are constructed. Okay. Uh, as I said, filters could be classified in a number of ways. It could be classified on the basis of construction, which we are going to discuss, but it could also be classified based on the point of application. Like, for example, uh, if you use it as a pre filter media, then it would be pre filtered. If it is used at the end, then it is a terminal filter. If it is used in the return ducts, it would be a return air duct filter, and so on. Right? Uh, what we would be concentrating on today is <clears throat> the study of the filters based on uh, the construction methodology. So this is one way of constructing the filter. Uh, look at the diagram and it will be clear that uh, this would be a panel type filter or a cassette type of filter. And uh, this, uh, this is usually uh, meant for the sliding fitment on a railway or a track, on a rail or a track, if there is a track or a rail uh, or for use in the mounting frames having some hold down clamps. So if the mounting frames have hold down clamps uh, or in a universal filter holding frames, this kind of filters can be placed. So this is a cassette type or box type or a panel type of filter. So have a look at this diagram and it it's basically a self-explanatory kind of figure. Mm, the other one is comes with the flange. Okay, so you see the flange uh, around, all right? And the flange is um, on uh, either the entry side or on the exit side. Okay, and some in sometimes it would have a flange on both the sides. Okay. So what does the flange do? So it allows the uh, filter to be rigidly mounted, right, on the mounting frame. And we can use the clamp or a bolt and nut alignment. Uh, you look at this, uh, you see that because of the flange, one can use a bolt and nut arrangement or a clamp, and uh, then that would give us a good facility, good leak free fit. So fit would be perfect fit, leak free fit because of the flanges and because of the bolting and uh, bolt arrangement. Okay, so this is a flanged filter. Uh, we should be in a position just to have a look at the diagram and we should be in a position to uh, identify the filter. Uh, this one is uh, the header type of filter. So as you see, uh, the headers are quite similar to the flanges in function. Okay, and the headers can also be provided on entry side or exit side on, or on both sides. Okay, so these header type filters can be mounted on a universal filter holding frames 
or for sliding fitment on a channel track okay so this is how a header type filter looks then there is uh, something called as a rigid peat filter uh, so this rigid peat filter the media uh, does not move from its position in this rigid and that is why the word rigid is used the media does not move from its position during the passage of air through the filter uh, unlike the pocket filter which we were discussing so this have pleated media okay which is rigidly positioned inside the casing okay look at the diagram and you would understand that what is the rigid pit now, this filter type is most stable a type of filter construction uh, if you want to clean and reuse the filter again and again right so this because it is a rigid fit uh, pit filter it is rigid uh, it does uh, does not allow the media uh, to move from its position when the air is moving through this filter right uh, because of this rigid pit arrangement and this is a very convenient type of construction if you want to reuse the filters right uh, unlike in the pocket filter or back filter which is in the next slide so you look at this uh, pocket or back filter and if you compare it with the rigid filter uh, the concept of uh, the rigid pit filter as well as the uh, back type filter would be clear to you so what is this filter in this filter the media is formed into pockets that are assembled in a manner that they hang out of the casing you can look at the diagram and you see that the media is hanging out of the casing uh, so what is the advantage uh, they have the low weight per unit air flow capacity and because of that the shipping volume is lowest for a given efficiency level and the flow rate capacity this is the advantage okay having a low weight per air flow capacity is the advantage but it also comes with the disadvantage and what is that disadvantage it is not cleanable and reusable unlike the peat rigid peat filter which we rigid peat filter which we discussed earlier okay so the rigid peat filter this has to be ple 80 is uh, more uh, it is uh, more uh, suitable for reusing the filter the peat filter whereas the pocket filter is uh, is not cleanable and reusable okay so it's a sort of use and throw kind of filter okay uh, please note that this spelling has to be uh, clearly noted this is not peat this is pleat pleat filter okay all right uh, moving to the next uh, type of pleat filter um, uh, uh, it is a mini pleat filter okay so what is this mini pleat filter uh, so this uh, this filters are made up of uh, thin sheets of paper like media okay and uh, they have a thickness of around uh, 0.5 mm uh, these filters uh, could be made from uh, micro glass or they could be made from uh, synthetic glass fiber okay so either micro glass fiber could be used or synthetic glass fiber could be used for making this filter media in the mini pit filter and this filter has a highest what is the advantage highest pleat density um, and that is uh, and because of that uh, it, this is capable of holding the highest media surface area per unit volume of filter size you understand this if the density is more it is capable of holding the highest media surface area per unit volume of the filter size so this media pleat separator uh, is either a thermoplastic uh, hot melt thread which is fused to the filtering media or then it is a thin strand of glass fiber media okay uh, so this way um, the separators are used and uh, of this separators uh, the hot melt type of separator is more common and this mini pleat type of filter is uh, is used in high efficiency applications when you want to filter uh, the micro particles very small particles then this mini pleat filter is used okay as i said they have the um, thin sheet of paper like media and this media is made up of 
glass fiber and micro glass fiber okay so just have a look at this mini pit filter and then another term uh, which uh, might give you some sense uh, and uh, also differentiate it from the mini pit filter is the deep lead filter look at the depth so it's a deep pit filter and uh, there is another name uh, it is also called as uh, aluminium separator style filter okay so these are also used and uh, these are also very common with the high efficiency filters and their filtering media and the filtering media of the mini pit filters they are the same so what filtering media we talked about uh, the uh, use of uh, synthetic uh, glass uh, synthetic fiber and uh, glass fiber okay so this is uh, commonly uh, the filtering media of both the mini pit filter as well as the deep pit filter okay uh, however uh, this deep pit filter is uh, slightly different in design uh, the difference uh, is in the uh, media pit separator design in this type the aluminium foil which is around 0.04 mm thick is corrugated to a height to suit the pleat pitch required okay and um, this this type of deep pleat filter is more commonly used if you are having a high temperature applications in HEPA filters which we'll be discussing in detail later but note that uh, when you are aiming for high temperatures then this deep deep pleat filters are commonly used uh, the other one is uh, the v bank type of filter which i will show you so what is this v bank filter so this uh, basically construction type uh, houses a number of uh, mini pleat filters but in a v-shaped arrangement okay. you see the diagram and you will see that uh, this is a v-shaped arrangement of housing the filters so a uh, number of mini pleat filters are housed in this type of construction v type of construction uh, and uh, that gives its a name as a v bank filter okay uh, so again uh, the filter material will be common and the advantage of this filter is that it has a high air handling capacity okay for a given uh, delta p delta p means differential pressure rating okay uh, one more filter i would like to discuss and that is the uh, gel seal gasket filter what is this this filter type uh, uses a special type of gasket okay and the gasket material is a gel a gel like material um, it's made up of silicone or sometimes of polyurethane and what happens is this gel becomes uh, semi-solid once it is set so this gel is either provided in a channel in the filter or in the mounting frame and then as you see a uh, knife aged uh, fixed in the matting component pierces through this gel and it provides a leak free seal so because of this gel and it's the self healing gel you get a leak free sealing okay and that is the advantage of this filter and again this type of filter is suitable for a very full proof uh, filtering applications like high efficiency HEPA filters okay uh, then comes the baffle filter. Uh, this filter type uh, does not contain a fibrous uh, or a, a fibrous uh, non oven or oven monofilament filtering media, as you see, as you are seen in the most of the air filters. So, what does it contain? It does not contain uh, the fibrous non oven or oven monofilament filtering media, but this instead contains a baffle they contain a set of baffles and hence the name baffle filters so this uh, baffle me filtering media is nothing but a set of specially designed uh, metal plates or baffles that abruptly change the direction of the air stream several times so you see that the air moves zigzag several times uh, as it passes through the filter and as a result the particle gets removed from the air stream by adhering to the metal baffle plates so basically it makes use of inertia of the heavy dust particles uh, to enable the particle capture 
and because of this tortuous path the particles uh, the ear takes the particles uh, would settle down okay it gives you a better filtering effect so it is most suitable for capturing large and uh, sticky particles like soot it could be grease paint ink pigment etc and in this application so fibrous filtering media will not be suitable because if you have such kind of uh, particles sticky particles the fibrous media would get choked off very quickly so that is the reason why the baffle filters have a very special applications in this kind of uh, things okay and finally we will be discussing uh, what is known as the hooded filters which are used in clean rooms a uh, clean room terminal filtration applications so these are the terminal filters that are uh, that also carry a small individual supply air side plenum okay as you see here so there is air side plenum and there are air flow control dampers uh, that can be operated from the condition so that makes it a hooded filter so the hooded filter has collar as you see in the diagram that can be used for connecting the supply air duct okay and hence uh, they are used in terminal units so this is a speciality of the hooded filter so this is what we are uh, about the uh, general discussion on the filter types based on the construction methodology okay uh, see you in the next lecture bye for now